you're struggling with fatigue, which is one of the two biggest struggles with Hashimoto's, the first one being can't lose that difficult, stubborn Hashi weight. And then the second one is this frightening, exhausting, extreme fatigue. She goes, pain, this is from the email, pain is not the issue or moving out of pain. It's the debilitating fatigue. I can barely get down the stairs to let the dog out, much less to do a warm up or a routine. There's zero energy. Very frightening levels of fatigue without different medication and intervention. Number one is to increase your protein intake. If you're eating 60 to 100 grams of protein a day, you are under eating your protein. You will not have energy. So protein has essential amino acids, which are the building blocks for life. And those essential amino acids help drive up our ATP, the energy in our cells and our mitochondria which then help drive up our energy. So if you're not eating enough protein, you will be tired. I know this was me. I was not eating enough protein. I was starting my day with coffee and croissant and I'd work all day, skip lunch, and I'd finish my day with a piece of salmon and some broccoli. I was not nourishing my body. I was not eating enough protein. So ideally, minimum 30 grams per meal. You could go up to 50 grams per meal. Another way to think of it is one gram per pound of ideal body weight. So if you want to be 150 pounds, you're going to eat 150 grams of protein. So go to your doctor, tell him you have fatigue, you're going to check for anemia, a total iron panel, and then you're going to add on ferritin. Number three is dialing in your sleep. Number four is we need to maintain our muscle mass. 